Hello, you're listening to Trusting God at All Times, a daily devotional series from Peakland United Methodist Church. My name is Linwood Campbell. I'm the Director of Worship and Outreach here at the church. Most every day, one of our preschool classes goes by my door en route to the main entrance to the preschool. Like the other classes, they're waiting to be picked up by someone to take them home. A lot of times they'll smile and wave goodbye to Mr. Linwood. I see a lot of them in the mornings because I help out with a preschool morning carpool drop-off. It's a great way to start the day, and it gives the church an opportunity to get a little face time with the parents. We have recruited new members from the preschool before, so I know it works, but we don't get a lot of takers, so to speak. <laughs> Still, I enjoy doing it, and the kids like giving Mr. Linwood a high five as they walk in. Well, at least most of them do. There are still a few holdouts. I guess I I just might be too scary. <laughs> but speaking of scary, last Wednesday for me was a scary day. When my dentist said we needed to pull a tooth, I knew it would not be fun. I typically have long roots on my teeth, and last week's pull felt more like a tractor pull than a tooth pull. But I survived, thankfully, aided by some happy pills. But the memory of that pain still lingers. You know, it's kind of crazy, but it makes me think of Easter and what it might have been like to die on a cross. I simply cannot imagine what that could have been like. I can only imagine, though, that the pain in my mouth could not have even been anywhere close to the pain involved with having your hands, your feet, and side nailed to a cross and then suffocate from your lungs filling up and being able to pull and being unable to pull your body high enough because of being nailed to the cross and losing the strength to, to stay above it all. <laughs> now, maybe that was, that was too much of a graphic picture I just painted. But the reality is that Jesus went through a lot for us. And I, for one, am extremely grateful for his suffering and his death, that I might live in the light of his glory. And as a church musician, I'm grateful that on this Easter, we can play and sing of his glory. So, so what will this Easter look like for you? The pandemic is hopefully subsiding to the point that it just might be manageable although time will tell. And tenants in church, those beginning to pick up. Will you be one of the early risers that shows up for a sunrise service at <laughs> oh dark early in the morning because it's an incredible way to see and feel the grandeur and glory of God in that rising sun? Maybe you'll come for the music or communion or an Easter message at a more reasonable time in the morning. Or... Maybe you'll just carry on like it's another day. But it's just not another day. If it hasn't happened for you already, it could be a new beginning for you. It could be an affirmation of something you realized long ago, but have let fall to the wayside. It could be a time to reach out and take the hand of a living God who wants to know you a bit better. So maybe I'll see you on Easter. Maybe I'll see you before. Maybe I'll only see you, or I guess rather you'll see me, online. But I hope you will see. See your life as you may have not seen it before. Blue skies, my friends. Blue skies. Blue skies.